Okay, we are going to be dividing decimals by whole numbers. So, just to give you a heads up, if there's no decimal on this outside, then all you have to do is raise the decimal point straight up in your answers. It's so important to try to keep the numbers lined up with what you're putting into it. So, for instance, a 5 goes into the 6 once. So, the 1 went right over the 6. 5 times 1 is 5. 1 left over. Bring down the 2. 5 goes into 12 twice. I kept it over the 2. 2 left over. Bring down the 5. 5 goes into 25 Five times, two make 25, nothing left over. That's the key right there. No decimal on the outside, raise it straight up. Eight does not go into four. Eight goes into 42 five times. Since it's going into 42, I put it underneath the part of the number, the last spot of the number. So there's 42, bring down the six. 8 goes into 26 three times to make 24. 2 left over, extend my line, add a 0, and bring it down. Notice how I didn't have to put a decimal point in front of that because I already have one. 8 goes into 20 twice, make 16, subtract, I get 4, and x another 0, bring it down. 8 goes into 40. Five times to make 40, nothing left over. Now, raise my decimal straight up. 12 can't go into 4. You can put a 0 there if you want. 12 goes into 46 three times. That's a bad looking 3. To make 36. 10 leftovers, bring down the 2. 12 goes into this 8 times. 96. 6 leftovers, bring down our 4. 12 goes into 64 5 times to make 60. 4 left over. Bring down a zero. 12 goes into this three times. Make 36. We're going to get a four. And if we bring down another zero, we're going to get another three up here like this because we're going to keep getting that 36, 40, 36, 40, 36, 40. See what I mean? And so we're going to put a bar over our three. Now, hint. Decimal point goes straight up when there is no decimal on the outside. And remember, the outside number is called the divisor. The dividend is in, like a den. Dividend, okay? Den, inside. And quotient is the answer to a division problem. And as always, this is Miss Bobby. And I love math.